Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, one more interview question today we are going to talk about today. That you have to count the number of occurrences of a given character in a string. I know there are multiple solutions. You can use recursion, you can use regular expressions, you can use some different other algorithms, you can use that. But the question is about, we have to use Java 8 streams. A very simple solution and very robust solution, you can do that over here. For example, let's see, I have one string, a string str is equal to, uh, let's see, any string. For example, I'm writing testing over here and uh, testing, let's see, solutions, something like this, right? So always remember, whenever you want to apply a stream on a strings, what you have to do, you simply write dot str dot characters. Can you see that cats method is available, which will give you one integer stream over here. So you just apply over here and after that you will get a stream and then you can apply a filter. Now what kind of filter? You can take any element, let's see E, pass it via lambda and you simple whatever the, this E is available that you are getting it, convert into a character and then you compare which is equal to equal to what? For which character you are looking for the occurrence count. For example, let's say I am looking for I. So I is coming two times, you can see that one and two over here, right? And then you simply apply dot count over here. And this dot count will give you one long integer. So I'll do one thing, I'll store in a long, for example, let's see count which is equal to this. And then you just simply print it on the console. So let's see what is output. So when you run it as Java application, you are getting output as two, it means this is absolutely working fine. So let's see with S. And then you run it again. So for S, it's coming three times. You can see that one, two, and three. So this is absolutely working fine. If you really want to apply, let's see one more filter over here that I want to get the count of S and I together. So what you can do is you can apply one or operator over here and you can apply one more filter. For example, let's see, I'm just again converting this character whatever that e that we are getting it and then i'm applying with let's see i'm looking for i also so like this you can apply two filters over here so if you write in a next line you will see a complete pipeline over here the stream pipeline like this you can see that i have applied two filters so s and i count i'll be getting it so let's see what is the combined count five so s is coming i think three times and i is coming two times so like this we can do that now if you really want to create a generic function for this let's create that and it could be a really good utility for your framework as well so uh, so let's say i quickly create one public static and then i just need to pass the string that for which string and uh, i just need to say that okay here yeah, for which character that you are looking for the count for example character c right and this entire logic, I'll just copy and paste it over here. And let's say I'm just looking for only one character, remove the second filter value and uh, this str that we are already passing. And then the C we have to pass it over here. That's it. And whatever the long count, instead of this, you can directly write a return over here. And then instead of void, so it's giving you long, so make it too long over here because the count will give you long. That's it. Now you don't need to write all these things and uh, just let me comment it out. Let's call this method from the main method. I simply say that get for which string the string is let's see str. Let me make it more testing solutions via Naveen automation labs and uh, for which character you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking for s. So it will give you the character count from this particular string for S. And uh, I'll do one thing, directly printing it on the console, calling it over here directly. So let's see how many small S is available. So four small S is available. You can see that one, two, then three and uh, four. Yep, this is fine. Let's say I'm looking for capital T capital T is having only one capital T over here. So it's giving you one, right? Let's see, I'm making it 
this capital T and let's run it again. So this is giving you two times. So this is a simple method that we have created. You can use this method in your utility, in your framework. Either it is what kind of framework or whatever you are using it, you can use it, get character count, simple apply a filter. You can create multiple, <clears throat> you can overload this method. For example, let's see, for multiple filters, you can do that. So let's see if you really apply two filters. So character C1 and character C2, you can do that. And uh, you can apply one, this is C1, or operator, again convert your E, which is equal to now C2. That's it. So the method is ready. So for uh, two character count, if you're looking for, you can call this method and one character count, you can call this method. And this is the same method name with different parameter. We can overload this method also like that. So that's all for this particular video, guys. I hope it's a very simple solution. I know there are other solutions also. You can use recursion, regular expressions, some other algorithms, you can use it. The specific question is about, you have to use Java 8 streams only. Very simple one line answer for that, that's it. People might ask you these kind of questions at the time of interview. Thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching Navigation Automation Labs. I'll see you the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.